Mike, well, we're in the cooking corner with Michelle Bonacelli from OSU Extension Office with a recipe for strawberry caprese pasta salad with a nice little twist for summer. Welcome back, Michelle. Thank you. This uh, has an, an ingredient that I've never heard of, and I'm really interested to see how it goes. I, me too. I've learned something new with this recipe. So the, the, uh, the base of it's very simple. It's your typical caprese salad with um, whatever pasta. I just chose the bow tie pasta. Um, and then you can add whatever kind of tomatoes. I chose the variety just because, again, it makes it prettier and more visually appealing. And then you just take um, a pint of strawberries and cut those up. And we're just having the strawberries and cutting That's the top it. off, nothing real fancy. Right. And then just cube some mozzarella cheese. Now you've got to have a pretty good sized bowl for I this. Know. This is a I good, know. healthy portion that can feed a lot of people as a nice appetizer. Right. And you think of a lot of times, especially in Oklahoma, we think of pasta salad with a lot of mayonnaise, which is high in fat. Um, and then, you know, sometimes in summer it's too heavy. So this is a lighter salad. You still get your um, antioxidants, vitamin C. Um, carbohydrates, but you just don't have the extra fat. Well, and what's nice too is when you're at the cookout or the potluck, you know, I, I'm personally a little scared to eat mayonnaise that's been right. out for two and a half, three hours. I mean, right. that would be just like personal preference, but I'm like, eh, maybe right. not. It so is a little scary. This, this is a this is a great. So this option. is safer and it's lighter. So, um, and, you know, in this kind of heat, you want to eat lighter. Most people do, and um, cooler. So you can make the pasta ahead of time and put all the ingredients together when you show up. And then you just have a little bit of basil. So it's perfect too for um, people that have gardens or they have um, they visit the farmers market. Yeah, everything's all fresh and beautiful, and basil. and it makes makes for a pretty salad. Yeah, basil grows great in our backyard. I know, and I'm no gardener or anything. It's just it really does well in Oklahoma for some reason. So. We've mixed it up to the point where we have to transfer it to another bowl and right. we're going to add this. Tell us about this. This is fun. So this is a balsamic glaze and basically it's just balsamic vinegar and a sweetener. So sugar or honey added to it. You can make your own. Um, I chose not to. I chose to buy some. Um, plus yeah. it's a little bit easier to dispense because it, it does come. It's pretty thick. So you can't um, very, it's kind of hard to pour. Um, sure. So we'll just add about half the salad because it does um, stay on the top unlike just reg regular balsamic vinegar. So, And this is really like a slightly less thick than honey, but it's, it's definitely thick. thick. Yeah. Right. So that way you don't want to stir it completely because then it, it wouldn't be as visually appetizing. Um, but if you just want to kind of throughout as you put your salad together, then you put some more on top. Yeah, really easy to work with. Just yeah. there you go. It smells great. Doesn't it smell good? By the way, and, and the, the thing about like caprese salad is sometimes you know it's just going to be your mozzarella and your tomato, but this gives you a lot of sweetness, mm -hmm. which I love. Love have good sweetness. Yes, yeah, so it does have a little bit of, of sweetness to the balsamic glaze. So excellent. There you go. There's your summer salad. Thank you, Michelle.